And so here let me open with introducing our first speaker, who I had the uh, good fortune to meet a few days ago, and his name is Raymond Ibrahim. Raymond, I will introduce him briefly. He has to catch a plane back to the States. It sounds like a corny thing to say, but it happens to be true. So I will introduce him briefly, and we can have the benefit of hearing more of him and less of me, let us say. Raymond Ibrahim is a Middle East and Islamic specialist affiliated with the Stillman, he is a Stillman fellow, Stillman Fellow at the David Horowitz Freedom Center, which I think is in California, and an Associate Fellow at the Middle East Forum, which is in Philadelphia. Uh, he's written a, a very well-known book, Al-Qaeda Reader, Al-Qaeda Reader, no friends of the Christians, Al-Qaeda, as you know, and he guest lectures at a number of universities, including the National Defense T Intelligence College, he has briefed governmental agencies such as the U.S. Strategic Command and the Defense Intelligence Agency. And he is of uh, an Egyptian-American background, born in the United States to parents who immigrated from Egypt. And he will speak to us about Christians in the Middle East, and no doubt with a particular emphasis on the situation of the Copt Christians in Egypt. The Copt Christians in Egypt, uh, to the degree that I'm familiar with that subject, is an ancient Christian community, born in Alexandria. The church was born in Alexandria, where Raymond's parents are from, as I understand. And uh, the situation of the Copt Christians in Egypt, when we say Christians in Egypt, basically we're talking about the Copt Christians in Egypt, who were 90% of the Egyptian population 1,500 years ago. Egypt was, an Egypt was a Christian land, transformed by Islamic conquest, colonization and conversion, turning the Christian majority into a Christian minority. I, we all welcome the opportunity to hear Raymond Ibrahim. <laughs> 